Hello everyone, my name is Baha Bunjim from Mixed Dimensions and in this video I will introduce our latest additions to the asset store which is Boolean RT, real-time Boolean operations uh, inside of Unity. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create some procedural objects by using Boolean operations from existing objects. To start, let me just first selecting my target object and adding the boolean operation component from component boolean 3d boolean object so now I'll just need to do uh, selecting the operation type so let's say subtract and my operands let's say cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 and now I will create a tube from the result of this operation To get the execution in real time, I'll just click on execute an editor, and now I can simply watch my result while working. If I move this object, I can see it also in the game view. It also works with rotation and you can control how the result should look like and if you notice it does preserve your textures and UVs. I can easily also change the mesh that I'm using so if I went here and change it to let's say a cube and I clicked on execute right here I can see the newly created mesh so if I went back and modified the cube I can get my results Also, on the other hand, I can change my operands. So if I went and selected a cube, another cube instead of the cylinder and clicked on execute, I can see the result. So if I moved my object to intersect with my other operand, I can see the new result showing so this can be also executed in real time so if I just untoggled execute an editor and tried to change anything I can't only if I clicked on execute so I get the new result the other hand if I want it to be executing on real time I'll just click on play and now if I moved any object I can see the results in real time in my game view. So let's go back and look at what the boolean object component offers. So if I clicked on my object, I can see in the boolean component multiple fields. The first one is on intersection. This field enables only the generation and the execution of boolean operation if the transform is changed of my operands or if both objects are intersecting together. On the other hand, if I want to overwrite an existing mesh, I'll just toggle overwrite mesh. 
if I want to see results in real time while in edit mode, I can click on execute in edit mode. If I want smooth transition, especially when working with uh, meshes that have multiple uh, triangles and are big in mesh size, so I'll just click on smooth transition, and this will make the Boolean operation executes over multiple frames, giving you a good frame rate. If I want to update my collider, I just click on update collider, and if I want to change my operation, I have three types of operation, union, intersection, and subtract. I can also change my operands, and if I want to save my result as a prefab while in editor, I can click on save as prefab and just click on save prefab and I'll get my new prefab with the mesh saved. So this is good if you want to create games with procedural geometry and this can be used also to reduce your game size by making some of the game objects inside of, of the game procedurally generated and it can give some really cool effects in some of game types and that's it. Thanks everyone.